practice is more of a uh, upscale um, neighborhood, um, and, but the patient population we treat, you know, kids to, to uh, seniors uh, and everything in between, uh, PPO driven practice. A couple, couple years ago, I, I want to say he started what, what year was that, 2019? Was he 2019? Um, <clears throat> kind of friended him, uh, friended uh, Dr. Dunlop uh, on Facebook and just kind of followed him because he was he was doing full arch stuff uh, online and then i know he uh, i saw him when he released uh, his uh, full arch master course kind of messaged back and forth kind of wanted to take the course didn't really pull the trigger um <clears throat> and then just recently we, we started doing full full arch in the in the office and decided hey i gotta i gotta bring it all together and bring my team on it so we can make sure we're not missing anything I mean, really, the, you know, the, the big reason I came was to kind of put it all together from that first initial phone call all the way to you delivered that final pro prosthetic. And I know this is his flagship course, so we, we covered most of that. Um, so my expectations were, were exactly what we got. I, we got a little bit of everything from beginning to end. Uh, brought uh, two of my dental assistants, Erica and Nick. Uh, overall, good. Um, I mean, you always want to see more. I know there's only so much you can, you can get to a, a, a day. Um, with you know all sorts of experience with the doc, so I understand uh, you know when it comes to more advanced techniques, we're not going to see that. But he, he has courses for that, so as we progress, we'll probably add a course down the road. Uh, they did great, uh, very inviting, um, flexible. Food was good, accommodations. You know they, they accommodated everything we asked, so uh, there wasn't. I don't think there was any nose to really anything. So uh, I enjoyed it. Again, probably just just the the whole way to kind of bring it into the practice, um, uh, getting those uh, getting those patients in the door, kind of man, you know, figuring out who they are as patients and make sure you want to treat them. I guess that's really important when it comes to the, the psyche of the patient. Um, so yeah, if you pick you pick the wrong patient, uh, you might you might have some issues down the road. So I guess that was probably the biggest biggest thing. Um, but uh, the, the team, the, my team, benefited greatly from from everything that they brought us, taught us here in the course. Uh, very important. Um, uh, I would have probably in future courses. We'll, we'll probably bring some more more staff. I like how they have some online stuff through Zoom. Um, so I definitely, we'll we'll reach out to some of the front desk, and we'll probably get them back into that as well. Uh, liked it a lot. Um, of course, you, you, when it comes to something like that, you wish you can just kind of stare in the mouth along with them. But with with everybody that's kind of crowded around, sometimes that doesn't is not the case. Um, but you know they got monitors and you can see it from there so good good enough for me I guess it's good great uh, you get to see the equipment that you're gonna need to do something like this and deliver the full arch um, so uh, that's that's probably the one of the biggest you know areas that you need to need to learn so and you know they have their own techs and everything here so uh, we probably won't go <clears throat> that full board in the beginning but down the road as we progress and grow most likely we'll probably have to do something that that uh, Dr. Dunlop has done Definitely do it, don't wait. Um, if it's something you, you really wanna do, definitely bring your team members, uh, learn about it as a team. Um, <clears throat> and of course, bring bring those key team members. We brought, I brought some dental assistants, probably should have brought some front desks, but um, so bring as many as you can.